Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is June the 3rd, which is a Wednesday. So it is What You're Working On Wednesday. Okay, so I've been working on a lot of things today, actually. Um, crochet -y and not crochet. -y. I should have been sewing today. <laughs> I should have started project bags today, but I didn't because I was I got distracted doing one thing, which led to another, which you know how it goes. Just kept going. <laughs> and what I did is I ended up cleaning pretty much all the house <laughs> and going through it. And behind you, you can't see it, is a huge stack of stuff that we have to take to our local thrift store tomorrow to donate. It's a lot of stuff. It's multiple totes worth of stuff. But uh, I got that done, so that's good. <laughs> but I did crochet a little bit this morning on Amigurumi, but um, that's not what I'm going to show because I'm going to show a different thing that I'm just literally working on. So, because um, this is what I'm working on right at the moment, I guess. <laughs> But I'll show the Amigurumi in my next No Catch Your Name episode, which I will probably try to record tomorrow. Alright, so what I'm working on today is this. Let me make sure I get it the right way so I don't pull out stitches. Ta-da! It's a baby blanket. Or it will be. <laughs> really pretty pattern, I think. And it's a really simple pattern repeat. It's the same. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Eight row repeat, I think. <laughs> Um, over and over again. I really like it and I got it memorized so that's good. I do have to do a border on it that I don't have memorized but I have it printed out here so that I can do that when the time comes. It's going to be like that much uh, space around the side of it. But the pattern is called Adeline Baby Blanket by Bright, Bright and Scrappy. Keep messing that up. Um, I'll link it below. I got it as a free uh, PDF download on Ravelry. They actually have two PDFs on there. One has pictures and one doesn't so that you can printer friendly. Uh, I printed out the one that doesn't have photos so that it wouldn't take up so much ink, which is awesome. I wish everybody <laughs> who wrote patterns did that. And I actually think I might start doing that from now on with the patterns that I write. But anyways, back to the blanket. <laughs> it's really cute. It's got like a solid stripe and then a lace stripe repeated. The yarn that I'm using, this is the first ball. It's all messed up because it fell apart <laughs> but it's lime brand uh ice cream and the color is lemon swirl it's blue and yellow and white and then where the blue and yellow meet it's kind of green just the transition i thought this was a cute neutral color um it's got a lot of blue but it's also got yellow so it kind of makes it general ne gender neutral i think <laughs> but um two balls should be enough to do this whole blanket but i think i'm going to get a white number three to do the border with. I just think it might look better with a solid color border since the blanket is so busy. But I don't know. If I can't find a white that is similar to this, I will just make it in this. The whole pattern needs 700 yards of th uh, the yarn, size 3 yarn. <laughs> and I have just under 800 yards of this because each of these balls is 394 yards. So I think, you know, either way, if I, I can finish it with this color or I can add some white. I'm going to try to find some white because I might go to Joann's tomorrow or Friday because I got one of those $10 off $10 or more <laughs> coupon thingies. I don't want to use that because it's free yarn. <laughs> but yeah, so I really like this. I got this the other day at Hobby Lobby, I think Saturday. That's also when I started this blanket. <laughs> uh, I haven't made a little baby blanket in forever is why I wanted to start one. I like working on little blankets, you know, because they're not as big as a commitment as a large blanket at Afghan. But you can still, you know, make a cute little blanket. And it's always good to have them on hand for random people getting pregnant and needing a baby gift. So, uh, I don't think I have any on hand either. I think I've given most of them away. I can't think. I know I have a rainbow one in one of the closets <laughs> somewhere that I made a while ago. It's actually a virus blanket, a uh, baby blanket. But yeah, this is the one I'm working on now super cute so let me know in the comments below what you guys are working on today it can be crochet or knit or any kind of craft related thing or even if you're not crafting today you can let me know what you're doing like the majority of my day was spent uh cleaning and organizing i don't know if you guys remember what my office area looked like but it looks a lot different now let me go here ignore that toy that's going to the thrift store but i put all my fab my leftover fabric there which i'm actually worked through a lot of it which is cool I reorganized this whole shelf big time. This shelf is bags that's currently in the shop and shipping supplies. This is all my paper, like planning stuff. And this is all my sewing notions that goes with my sewing machine, which is right here. <laughs> These are bags that I'm going to be sewing this week. Big old stack of them. 
and these are my random like variegated yarns and then up there's just some random stuff but yeah so it looks a lot better than it did <laughs> and i actually got rid of a bunch of stuff i'll show you that real fast Boop. that big pile of stuff right there is all donate stuff except that blanket that's just there to hide what's under it because i'm getting rid of some toys and i didn't want jesse to see them because he never plays with them but the moment he sees them, i'm getting rid of them they're gonna be his favorite thing in the world. So I'll have it covered up until we donate it so that he won't see them and want them. But yeah, so that's what I did most of the day. But I'm gonna actually sit down now and work on this while watching some TV. And uh, then I gotta get ready to cook dinner. It's actually late. I meant to record this this morning and I started cleaning. I started cleaning here and then I went crazy and ended up doing Jesse's bedroom deeply. Like I, almost, I pretty much took everything out of his room and reorganized everything. And uh, it feels good to declutter. <laughs> Devin is off work tomorrow, so we're going to drop all that stuff off in the morning, go visit my mom. She had surgery Monday on her, her shoulder, and uh, so we're going to go visit her, and then I think I might go to Joanne's. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but I will see you guys tomorrow or Friday. I will come out with a new No Catch Name episode because I got some new stuff over there that I want to show you guys. And yeah, uh, like I said, let me know in the comments below what you are working on, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys.